Just a short time ago, the Korean diplomat you're talking about arrived here in New York, Kim Young Chol. He's the former spy boss for North Korea. He's also a former four star general. But perhaps his most important credential is that he is a close and trusted confidant of Kim Jong un. He arrived this afternoon at JFK Airport on board an Air China airliner from Beijing. Reportedly, there are five others in his delegation. The U.S. granted Kim Young Chol. A sanctions travel waiver to make this trip. Uh, moments ago, he entered his hotel, which is just a few blocks from the United Nations. It is frequently used for uh, uh, foreign delegations. Now, as for the meetings with Mike Pompeo, uh, there are multiple meetings that are set. In a few hours' time, the two men are going to uh, sit face to face and have dinner. They have met at least twice before. Exactly what they're going to discuss about the nuclear program is not entirely clear, but uh, I can tell you that in addition to what's happening here in New York, Maria, there are two other meetings this week taking place overseas between the U.S. and North Korean delegations. In Singapore, they are discussing the logistics of a possible summit, and in the demilitarized zone, they are discussing the uh, components of a possible agenda for a presidential summit. But make no mistake about it, what's happening here in New York City and will be taking place in the next 24 hours or so could very well make or break the possibility of a summit between Kim Jong un and President Trump. And lastly, underscoring just how significant this diplomat is, he is the highest ranking North Korean diplomat to come to the United States in 18 years. The meeting between Pompeo and the North Korean slated to take place at least over dinner in the next few hours. Back to you. So, what are you expecting, David? Once this meeting does take place, what can we expect in terms of the process and the details of uh, June 12th? I think this meeting is going to either put up a stop sign or, 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 or the green light as to whether or not the North Koreans are going to be cooperative when it comes to holding a, a, a summit in uh, Singapore on June 12th. Just a short time ago, the White House said that June 12th is still on the drawing board, but I think much will depend on the outcome of this meeting. The North Koreans are going to have to show a willingness to meet some of the U.S. demands to start the process of dismantling their nuclear program. That said, according to one report that was released um, a short time ago, one expert has said that dismantling that program is going to take as long as 15 years. It's a very complicated program that's been in place for decades, but the U.S. is going to want to see some honesty and some commitment sure. to uh, meeting the obligation of dismantling this program.